This activity is changing and saving a data source. The scenario here is you have a Microsoft Excel file with data about hurricanes that you want to share with some coworkers for building workbooks in Tableau. You need to make a couple of changes to the data source before it's ready to share so that your colleagues can dive right into analysis. The first step here is to connect to the hurricane spreadsheet, load the data and open a new worksheet. When we open up the software, the connect page is the first thing we see. We're going to be connecting to a file for Excel. We're going to be connecting to the hurricane spreadsheet. And we're taken to the data source information. We want to load the data about hurricanes by dragging the tab over to the drag sheets here area. And now we want to open it a new worksheet. Step number two, rename the lat degree and long degree fields to latitude and longitude. One of the issues when you're getting data from spreadsheets or databases is that the fields won't always be friendly for end user readability. Right clicking on any of the fields will allow you to rename them. Latitude. Or you can also click them once and then click them a second time to enable the renaming, just like you would with uh, regular files in your file explorer. And if you have any doubts about what you're doing, you can always press this undo button to change to uh, erase changes that you made or reapply them with backwards and forwards actions. Step number three is to change the category to a dimension and change the default colors. So category is uh, put over here into the measures because it has a numbers on them, but we want it to be uh, something that describes the hurricane as a dimension. And by clicking on the arrow over here, we can change the default color by changing the default properties. So when we're looking at colors for a hurricane, I don't necessarily have a preference for it but there's a lot of different options over here we can choose from. Uh, one thing that I've liked recently, if you want to go with traffic, traffic light indicators for your hurricanes, or maybe this summer palette has been kind of nice lately. Let's say we make category zero a light blue, and we go into increasing colors as we escalate. So we'll go to light green, to orange, and finally to red. But I guess, you know, this is up to your preference and you don't necessarily need to start here. Maybe if you wanted to start off with blue and then go into like green right away, you want to stay consistent in your color choice. So now that we've chosen some colors uh, as a default property for our hurricane categories, we can move on to step four, which is to set a geographic role for, longi uh, for longitude. So longitude is, is uh, placed here as a measure, and we want this to be a <laughs> categorized as a geographic rule because it's a part of the coordinates over here.
latitude was appropriately labeled the longitude. And you might find this when you're cleaning up your data in your data source. Items in your data source won't always be categorized in the way that you want them to be. And the first level of categorizing your data and cleaning up your data happens right here in the data source. So all string fields are pretty straightforward because there's not much you can do with strings outside of leaving them uh, as they are. But when you're working with numbers, you can have either decimal or whole numbers. With dates, you can have either just the date or the date and time. You can have Boolean values, but geographic roles you can assign right off the bat. So if we were here in the data source, we could have assigned this this uh, geographic role right off the bat when it was first categorized as a decimal. The second level of assigning properties to these fields happens in the data source pane over here. So for any of these number fields, you can assign a default property in their number uh, in their number format. You can assign uh, standard or custom numbers. Currency is a big one because a lot of people are looking at profit ratios. You can assign scientific numbers, percentages, or custom numbers as well. When you're looking at dates and you want to look at their default properties, or sorry, yeah, when you're looking at the default properties for a date, you can choose a lot of different formats, uh, but mostly I found that this is not such a big deal until you want to look at custom date properties, which we'll go into at, in another time. So after you've made a bunch of changes to your data source, you have to understand that you're not gonna be affecting the file itself but you want to save the properties that you've affected. So when you're looking at data and you have your data source over here, you can add this to your saved data sources and it's going to give you a, a file called the TDS file, TDS file. And then you can save those properties and reopen them at a later time when you're working with the file so that you won't have to go back through the process of changing all the default properties, making sure that the fields are uh, assigned appropriately. And that is the second activity for changing and saving a data source.